It is good, anyways. Welcome back to a brand new episode. Yesterday we talked about season three Prestige Master. Today we're going to be talking about season four Prestige Master, and this is the one that I prefer the most so far. Of course, it's an old video if you're watching it right now. Um, the reason why I'm re I'm doing it right now is because I actually it took me a lot of time to do these challenges, and uh, just that I don't remember, or I actually just I remember it's actually more for, more for myself. So that I can reminisce in the in the future on the uh, not only all the effort that it took to get all these uh, uh, calling cards. Uh, so yeah, season four Prestige Master calling card is by far my favorite one. Um, I really love that dynamic uh, final calling card that you unlock. So uh, if you guys are new to these videos, what I'm gonna do is just gonna go through every all the calling cards, give you guys some tips and tricks on how to unlock them the fastest way possible and how I did them, and then I'll finish the video with a uh, clash. Uh, Warzone mode win. So if you're interested in uh, listening to all these, if you're not, just uh, skip forward to the clash and watch some gameplay and a nice win. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go over all the uh, conic cards. The first one is Soul Tool of Fortune. Get 500 eliminations with fully automatic weapons. Now this one's pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is equip a semi. I mean, a fully automatic weapon and get the kills with. I think at this point everybody knows uh, and uh, knows all the fully automatic weapons and everybody plays with fully automatic weapons. So not really any tips and tricks for that one. Daily grind. Complete nine daily challenges in multiplayer or warzone. Of course, multiplayer is much easier, but we're talking about strictly warzone since I do not own multiplayer Cold War. As far as daily challenges, uh, what you where you should find them is that on the page where you're about to search for a game, just press square. You're gonna find daily challenges. Now I do them a lot, um, especially when I have to rank up uh, because they give they do give you 2,500 XP for all of them. And they, every day they add three, and they're very easy to get. I mean, uh, some of them are like get three headshots. That's pretty easy to get. Um, some of them are open six uh, caches in um, whatever whatever area. Either you play BR and you have a good team, and you uh, you end up going on each fight. Or what I would do is that what I did, I went to plunder, and uh, I went to every one of the locations, usually in the single game. So I would actually equip three daily, uh, where I have to uh, open six boxes get a helicopter or just even kill myself at that point because I don't really, don't really care, all I care about is to get the uh, daily challenges open uh, 6 boxes in every region and that's going to be at least 7500 XP added to your uh, to your end game so not only is it great for leveling up but it's great for unlocking this calling card uh, no camping allowed this one is to kill an enemy that hasn't been hasn't recently moved from one location 25 times um, this one is not really something you can actively do. All you gotta do is kill people and hope that uh, they were camping. Head count: get two headshot kills in a single life, 25 times. Now this one I would suggest is one of these newer gameplays such as Clash and uh, Payload, just because there are so many people and people are usually chaos, so they don't really pay attention, and it's very easy to get double shots, uh, double headshots. For me, uh, when I did this, it was uh, not even in the era where they brought all these uh, special, uh, uh, special. Um, what do you call it? Playlist, so I had to do them in plunder. I downed a guy and then I had to finish him off with a weapon, and then I downed the other and finished him off with a headshot to the to the head. It was uh, pretty difficult to get, especially if you have to do it 25 times. But um, but again, it was uh, it was worth it for the calling card. Warlord, get five kills or or score triple kill streaks in a single game nine times. Now this one I have to admit, it, the only way you can do it is probably like uh, King of the Hill, because. Uh, Get five kills at a score streak in a game that ends up uh, that ends pretty quickly, and especially in Warzone, it's very, very, very difficult. So as the, I think your best bet would be one of these multiplayer modes, such as a uh, King of the Hill, uh, Payload, Clash. For me, I did it in Payload. I thought I, I finally I could see it's the one we find the most amount of kill streaks readily available and the most amount of people concentrated in one place. Uh, again, what you're gonna see is that I show you guys in this video at the end, and not only a win but also where how to get the maximum amount of kills with course score streaks in a single game. I'll show you guys exactly where to shoot your precision airstrike to get a kill every single time in clash mode. So uh, you're gonna end up uh, leveling this up very very quickly. YOLO, get set of elimination in single life elimination modes. This one is probably BR. All you have to do is play BR and get kills. I mean uh, there's not many there's not really anything more to it. Hail to die on, get fits, kill some of enemies who are on a lower elevation. Now this one if you're playing for Dansk, I was just going on that huge um, scaffolding and just shoot people from down or just in general just try to take upper ground and shoot people down for me honestly I did this in Resurgence uh, just by uh, playing my normal game usually I try to take higher ground and kill people and without before even uh, knowing it I was uh, I was done with this challenge 1-2 punch, try to get a kill with both weapons that you are carrying 30 times this one is super easy if you're playing uh, 
flash mode of course I didn't I found it very easy on the resurgence just because I usually go with a uh, SMG and an uh, assault rifle so what I would do is that I would kill the first guy with my um, assault rifle and switch to my SMG instead of reloading and kill his friend uh, or down one guy wait for his friend to, to come and try and environ him switch to my other gun and then I got a collateral but each one was with a different gun so it does count but another super easy way is to play the multiplayer mode such as uh, Clash and King of the Hill it's very very easy to find two people just camping with each other and just kill one with every weapon and you're gonna get those double down complete a match with at least twice the number of eliminations and deaths nine times this is very 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 easy um, I mean even if you play uh, plunder get one kill and the rest you're looting it does count as double so uh, I mean it's, uh, it's, it's very easy to do of course what I suggest too is one of these uh, like one of these if you're playing one of these game modes that are multiplayer such as clash just make sure you're camping and you're not um, attacking because people are usually camping in that and uh, you don't want to get you don't want to die too much especially if you're trying to get double below the belt get 50 kills while sliding I do admit this one took a bit of time for me to get um, but yeah I did them in one of those I did them in the uh, king of the hill all you gotta do is make sure you have a UAV on try to slide on corners and shoot people or you can do them in multiplayer of course in hardcore mode but uh, we're not talking about multiplayer nothing but the hits using a sniper rifle get uh, get three consecutive shots and that deal damage to enemies five times now this one contrary to popular belief I do believe the best mode for this is plunder just because it usually takes around like three two to three hits to with a sniper rifle especially if you're playing with a good one like a car 98 to kill someone the first one is gonna crack him the second one's gonna down him, and the third one's gonna probably finish him sometimes if you're not if you don't even hit the head four shots are what that what's needed so uh, honestly it's the best way to, to do this try to find one guy by himself snipe him and make sure you don't miss and they're gonna they're gonna count pretty quickly right off destroy 50 enemies sc uh, score streaks for vehicles um, this one of course if you're if you're playing any of the game modes such as uh, plunder or warzone always try to destroy the vehicles for me right now I am doing another challenge for vehicles and the best way to do this is actually to play the clash mode a lot of people are grabbing the vehicles everywhere they keep respawning and just shoot them down man it doesn't matter what they are um, kill streaks or uh, vehicles just blow everything up and you're gonna get this right now pretty quickly just a second get 25 elimination with secondary weapons what I suggest is that you take overkill equip your best favorite weapon as the secondary slot and get the all kills there that's what I did with my uh, Farron right now because it's the meta and I got all the kills so I got 250 eliminations pretty quickly strong support system earn 200 support assists with score streaks equipment and fill upgrades this one again is fairly easy I would suggest just using a lot of UAVs um, a lot of see the fill upgrade if you're using a munition box and your teammate takes from your munition box and then kills someone you do get an assist just because you helped him with the ammo uh, so that's pretty much it. that's pretty much uh, good. Take a closer look. Get 250 kills aiming down sight using a weapon with an attached two times magnified scope or greater. The keyword here is or greater. You can use a Vizier tech two times if you want, but the best thing would be the three times as that's the best optics, whether it be multiplayer, uh, modern warfare guns or cold war guns. And just get the kills. Of course, clash mode or payload would be amazing to get all the kills as quickly as possible far and away using a sniper rifle kill enemy more than 250 meters away now this one the best way would be easier to play payloads because a lot of people are usually camping on the roofs or clash mode clash mode a lot of the times people are camping super super far and uh, for some reason i believe that it's it's easier to kill people so just grab a great sniper rifle uh, don't go with a car and grab something like a pretty solid the swiss is the pretty much the best in the uh, cold war category or you have the hdr in the one warfare that allows it's going to allow you to have a really really long shot and uh, yeah just aim at people and keep shooting you're gonna end up uh, getting them one way or the other tool of the trade get a kill with both a weapon and a piece of equipment with the same life 50 times this one for me honestly it was the easiest one to get because that's actually what I do every time I usually uh, get up in buildings throw a few grounds and minutes behind me and end up uh, attacking people there's always one guy who thinks he's smart he jumps over, he jumps down and try to come from behind me he always ends up dying by the uh, Bossing Betty. As long as I kill his friend before he comes up, he's gonna count as a uh, as one of those. Uh, again, a great way also to get those if you, is if you're playing one of these uh, game modes such as King of the Hill or a Payload. Payload is a great one because a lot of the times where the people are gonna be concentrated where the truck is. So what you can do is that you can actually block an entrance by yourself and another one put a Bossing Betty. If one comes in, he's gonna get down with a Bossing Betty, and you just gotta kill one more person. It's gonna count as one of them. Turn the tables, kill an enemy that has previously damaged you first 30 times. This one, of course, where you uh, redeploy is the best. 
Um, I wouldn't suggest BR Plunder, maybe, if you're sick into the same area and you don't get team wiped. But uh, obviously one of these uh, multiplayer modes because you have a high chance of running the same people over and over again. By multiplayer modes I mean the uh, Clash and the Payload. Pumping Iron gets to have headshot kills using Iron side weapons. Um, now this one what I would suggest is that what I did it is that I was playing uh, Resurgence and I would always grab a gun from the ground that had Iron sight, especially one of those one hit tactical rifles. You put it as a secondary, I used my primary, and then when I downed someone I switched back to that Iron sight one uh, one hit or semi-automatic weapon and finish the guy off in the head. You have to do it pretty, pretty quickly so you make sure that they don't kill themselves but otherwise it's pretty uh, it's long but it's pretty easy one. Last but not least is uh, complete a public match with a score placement among the top 10% of the players five times. I believe this is the first one that... no this is actually the fastest one that I got yet. By the time I leveled up and opened it it was the same game that I actually got this. So uh, I mean it was, uh, it was pretty good. It was uh, pretty easy. I played a uh, plunder, and I was going for the win, so I got the five wins, uh, five wins in a row, no problem. And that's how you unlock the the best the favorite for me, the season four prestige master. I'll try to show you guys what it looks like if he wants to run it out. So, oh yeah, here it is. Just I have it. Uh, here it is. It's a woman with a, it's an angel with four forms. I think she's uh, she gave me like a. I had the four elements or four uh, or such kind of justice, sword, war, or whatever it is, law. But yeah, I really like it. A lot of fires rings well with my uh, Hellraiser uh, username. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, season four master. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Enjoy the uh, clash uh, win and check out the areas where I used to order to get all those uh, spicy guaranteed kills with score streaks. Catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy and thanks for watching. We're losing control. Friendly advanced UAV marking targets. UAV marking targets. Take it out. This is loaded 2 0. Copy. Friendly advanced UAV marking targets. Bringing down an airstrike. This is Striker 3 1. Good copy. Strike in there. Strike target marked. Take it out. Strike Get effect on target. Friendly sentry gun online. This is Striker 3 1. Good copy. Strike inbound. Might not be so lucky next time. <laughs>